team he needs to govern the state of Maine and to prepare a budget for the next biennium. In all likelihood, he will be the next governor for all the people of the state of Maine, and all of us who love the state of Maine should give him our support as he sets out on what will be a very difficult journey. This campaign has been an amazing journey itself. We began 16 months ago with an unknown candidate, no political party, and no special interest groups. Just a deep concern that Maine wasn't working for any of us and a firm belief that we could get our state back on track. As I crisscrossed this state so many times, thousands and thousands of miles, I heard the same things over and over again. You wanted someone with a plan to reform our government and to transform our economy, a plan that you could believe in. You wanted someone who would tell you the truth and not sugarcoat anything, a leader you could believe in. You wanted a contest of ideas, not of personal attacks, lies, and deceit, a campaign you could believe in. And this is what we have tried to offer because that's the Maine I know, the Maine I love, and the Maine I respect. It's also what I've tried to offer because that's the only way I knew how to do this. It's the only way that that I could honor my grandfather, who I've talked about <clears throat> over and over in this campaign, a peddler who came here at 12 with no money, no family, and taught me perseverance. It's the only... Well, after a bruising battle for the Blaine House, there you hear Elliot Cutler getting very emotional as he concedes the governorship to Paul LePage, who has been elected the uh, governor of Maine, according to the Associated Press. Now, Le Paul LePage has yet to claim victory, but last night in Waterville, he was pretty optimistic as the numbers were rolling in. LePage has scheduled a 2 o'clock news conference this afternoon in Waterville to discuss the latest developments and most likely to declare victory and, uh, as Maine's next governor and to uh, talk about the next steps ahead as he formulates a team to take over in January. Well, turning to the weather now after a very chilly start,